I think that there has that, that a, a portal, a demonic portal, opened above the White House around the time that the Bidens moved in. That's Roger Stone, former President Donald Trump's top advisors, one of his top advisors, and uh, he is uh, insane. In fact, listen to what he has to say next. Uh, this was brought to my attention by a, a Christian who lives in North Florida, who sent me a bunch of photographs uh, and a bunch of documents, and also some notations in, in the in the Bible about portals. Uh, and I was like, okay, sure, uh, okay, I appreciate it. Thank well, you. Well, I bro. mean, you should start out by right. being skeptical. I was saying that, skeptical. Sound, that sounds insane to me. You know, it does sound insane. Because it is insane. <laughs> and maybe Trump getting advice from Roger Stone, a literal lunatic, wasn't the right way to go, considering he seems to be sliding down the polls significantly. It's according to a new poll that was done by Suffolk University. We'll get to those details in just a moment. Uh, but Jenk, I know you have a lot to say about Roger Stone <laughs> and his concerns about the demonic portal. Well, I yeah. mean, obviously, who isn't concerned about it? I've been here and buzzing in the streets. You guys hear about the portals? I, it does keep people <laughs> up at night, definitely. <laughs> okay. yeah. So what's hilarious is that that guy, the host that was interviewing him, he sounded like a reasonable guy, right? He was skeptical and not. I listened to the whole thing. Uh, later in the interview, he's like, look, look, I'm skeptical about the demonic portals. I believe mainly in curses. <laughs> I was like, okay, that took a turn. Like he's, like, he's like Jake Tapper's <laughs> shockingly even more evil doppelganger. <laughs> <laughs> <He's>, <yeah. gasps> so uh, I mean, they had this hilarious conversation about, it. and and but it's not so funny because Roger Stone is. Ta I don't know if he's trolling the right wing or if he actually believes it. It's always hard to tell, but he's tapping into things that folks are taught that are, not of course, nowhere near true. He said, "Well, what, what, what? Well, I mean, we all know Satan is real, and that that, that means demons are real." Yeah, you and, exist. And deem well, that's true. If, if anybody would know, it would be Roger Stone. I mean, if anybody came out of a demonic portal, okay, so maybe I would draw a little bit of my skepticism here. But anyways, and he goes, and you know demons exist, and you know the demons are inside people, so they gotta come from somewhere, so they gotta come from a portal. I guarantee you like 98% of Republicans listening were like, oh yeah, oh my God, right? And so it's apparently, of course, it's over the White House, of course. Of course, the dangerous part of that is that they then start to think that real people are possessed by demons. Sometimes. Like it, yeah, well. Sometimes <laughs> you can be real naughty. Oh, well, that's a different thing. Now we're having fun portal conversations, okay? Not the other kind. Anyway, but seriously. Wait, what are you going to do with this? <laughs> what are you going to do with this guy, right? Like, wait, you're supposed to take these comments seriously? And like, we're supposed to have a genuine exchange yeah. about this lunacy? Okay. <laughs> what, what, what do you think comes out of a demonic portal? I mean, but these are the guys who we're debating with. That is one of Trump's top advisors. One of his top advisors, a bunch of lunatics ran the country. They might run it again. On the other hand, they might not, Anna. They might not. They might not. Now, why do we say that? Let's go back to what I mentioned earlier, the poll. Now, uh, this is a USA Today Suffolk University poll, and they found that by a two to one margin, two to one, GOP and GOP leaning voters now say they want Trump's policies, but mm, a different standard bearer to carry them. While 31% want the former president to run, 61% prefer some other Republican nominee. Gee, I wonder who that could be. Who would continue the policies Trump has pursued? So they uh, love the sin, hate the sinner. <laughs> in this case, right? Oh, that's such a great way of putting it. Yeah, so hundred dollar gift card. No, I'm just kidding. Mm. <laughs> okay, so uh, look, I've always been skeptical about this narrative without really seeing any data to back it up because I definitely can see the Republican establishment trying to move away or move on from Donald Trump. In fact, in the next video compilation we show you, you'll see some pretty big name figures uh, voicing how they're looking to move on while still maintaining the policies. Uh, but this is the first time that I see a poll that has a gap wide enough uh, to show that Trump is losing favorability among the voters. Now, before I get to those details, let's watch the video I was referring to. People want us to get back to the policies of the Trump-Pence administration. I certainly would not turn my back on President Trump, uh, but with that, I love Governor Ron DeSantis. Uh, he is America's governor and he has these same policies. I, I think America longs to go back to the policies that were working for the American people, but I think it's time for new leadership. 
maybe it's time to turn the page if we can get someone who has all Trump's policies who's not Trump. Turn the page. There you go. All right, we're gonna give you more devastating numbers in a second. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is the first time that I'm actually seeing hope that we might begin to enter the end of the Trump era. Well, okay, so I I, okay. I, I sense your optimism where- And you'd like to squash it. Of course, yes. Okay, uh, yes. You have an unlimited supply of that optimism. And, and we need and to I'm cut here, that crap out, yeah, right? I'm here to stop that party <laughs> yeah. attitude. Yeah. Listen, Trump is a symptom of everything that's wrong in the country. So while I hear you, there is a positive aspect of no longer having to deal with a man who's so shameless that he would destroy our democracy just to remain in power. All of those issues that have led to that symptom still exist, right? And I'm concerned about that. No, what a shocking turn of events. Let, let me make a case that it's not entirely true. So I think that I, it appeared that, first of all, let's put it this way. Trump brought two things to the table. He brought hate and madness, like crazy, crazy stuff. Let's inject bleach into us to cure COVID, the wind causes cancer, uh, elections don't mean anything, the constitution should be ripped up, just total madness, right? He thought about nuking a hurricane. So what I was worried about is that the Republicans loved both of those things, the hate and the madness. Mm -hmm. But now it looks like they're a little tired of the madness. So Anna, you're 100% right that they still want the hate, so the core of the problem still exists. Right, and they're just gonna transfer it on out to DeSantis. And what the distinction that Anna's making is so important because if you watch mainstream media, they like to pretend that Trump is the only problem, right? And once Trump is gone, oh, the, the fever is going to break and the Republicans are gonna go back to being wonderful moderates who are gonna give, you know, do these great bipartisan deals. No, 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 none of that is true. Anna's absolutely right about that. But here's a rejection, as we saw in the midterms, of the madness. Even within the Republican Party, for and now. that is encouraging. That is encouraging. For now, okay. So for now, okay. I don't know how this is going to play out as we get closer to the 2024 presidential election. But I'll give you the rest of the details regarding this poll, because the numbers are pretty significant. So, 56 percent to 33 percent of Republicans and those inclined to vote Republican say they prefer DeSantis over Trump. That's a big number, man. Look, all the uh, articles were unclear as to whether that's in the two thirds that are already don't want him to run or overall. I think it's in the two thirds that don't want him to run, but still a big, big lead for DeSantis with two thirds of Republican voters at least. Mm -hmm. So that is a sea change. Um, so in July, 60% of Republicans wanted Trump to run again. But by the time we hit October, that number had already dipped to 56%. Now it's fallen to 47%. That's real, brothers and sisters. Yes, it is, is real. real. And, and look, I think part of it, actually a big part of it, is the voters are exhausted from the endless investigations and potential criminality. They just want to get those policies yeah. accomplished. And it, it's difficult to accomplish those policies, as much as I obviously don't want them and don't agree with them. It's difficult for them to get what they want when the leader of the party is constantly embroiled with endless investigations. Partly, I think that, that they might be exhausted from that. But the main thing that they're concerned about is they're now worried that he's a loser. Well, he is. And so that's great news. And by the way, that could, by the way, be an argument against what I was just telling you. Maybe they still like the madness, but they're like, I, we just we are not going to be able to get that hate and madness into the White House and into power if it's in the form of Donald Trump because he's such a goddamn loser. And by the way, guys, we did a hundred loser Donald segments before the 2016 election because we sensed that was his number one weakness, and we were right. So here he is. Republicans are turning on him, and now his favorability has gone down even from 75 to 64. Remember, in 2020, just a couple of years ago, 93 percent of Republicans voted for him. Almost no one broke from him. Now it's down to 64%. He's in actual trouble. And this is a real poll. This isn't what in the beginning after the midterms, the Republican establishment was super mad at him. And they're like, oh, we have a poll from republicanestablishment.com. And it says you do not like Trump. And those were <laughs> horse crap, and we told you about it. Suffolk's a real polling organization. USA Today is a real paper. So he is, for the first time, in real trouble. Because they think he can't beat the Democrats. And by the way, they're right, this is the killer last stat. 
Uh, he Biden's lead over Trump is now 7.8 points, almost eight points. But Biden loses mm -hmm. to DeSantis by four points. That is a giant 12 point difference. And that means either Republicans have power or they don't have power. And they wanna own those libs. And in order to own the libs, you need to have power. So that's why they're leaning towards DeSantis, because they're finally beginning to realize Trump is a loser.